Right here to my right are three different types and styles of cases specifically meant to house those precious collectible card slabs. And today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of each one of these so you can decide which one of these best suits your collection and your needs. Let's jump right into it. What is going on guys? Caleb here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for dropping in. In the last couple years, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have a decent understanding that collectibles, specifically card games, have absolutely exploded. And with that explosion, by nature, so have the professionally great cards as well. It's also becoming much more common to transport those cards to either conventions, your buddy's house, whatever that may be. But transporting hundreds and potentially thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars worth of collectible cards can be an incredibly daunting task and extremely scary. And with that, we've seen a huge increase in protective cases for these collectibles, and some companies have even dedicated themselves to these products. So today, I've got three of the more common cases, and we're literally going to dissect all three of these bad boys. We've got an XL case from the Pastime Marketplace a few different cases from Zion cases and a generic case that you can just get at your local hardware store or even Amazon, which is where I got this. Which one is the best and which one will work best for you? The things I'll be discussing in this video are primarily going to be price, practicality, looks, and of course, my personal favorite. I do have a disclaimer. This video is actually not sponsored by any of these brands. However, two of these were given to me for a review, so I'm not going to be biased because... You know, I've got two of them. I've got two of them, dude. I can't, I can't waver towards one side. I gotta be brutally honest. So let's hop into the first case. Up first is the XL slab from Pastime Marketplace. It's got a very hard exterior like all of them do, but having that classic portable equipment container look that I personally think looks pretty good. Slots for locks, a depressurizer, and four heavy duty latches. The top is a normal foam insert while the bottom contains a slightly tougher and more rigid foam. Each graded card actually has its own individual slot for maximum protection. You can also put protectors around each card individually. And by protection, I mean sleeves. Graded guards are still just a little bit too fat. This also makes it a whole lot easier to see each individual card rather than having to to pull all of them out just to find the one that you're looking for. My one hang up with this case is that all the additional protection for each card leaves you with a much larger case and a small amount of products able to be carried. This case is by far the biggest one compared to the other two and at the expense of only being able to carry 60 cards. Compared to the other two which you can carry quite a few more cards relative to their size. This case will also run you about 170 US dollars. Up next is the Slab Case XL by Zion Cases. Another hard exterior, of course, and a much more sleek design that takes on a more stylistic briefcase look. It also comes with its own built-in combination locking system. I really like this idea, however, the lock does seem a little bit cheap, and if the lock goes, that's the only way you're getting in the case. If these were to break, you'd really be into it. I've actually used this case and the other Zion case that I have quite a bit, and I didn't even set the lock. The way I kind of look at these cases are like babies inside of a stroller. You don't really leave them out in the open for people to just walk by and take it. If someone takes your entire case, when they get back to the hotel or their house, they're going to be able to get into it. So personally, I do think that the locking system is made in good faith. However, I just don't think it's completely necessary in my own opinion. The inside top is the same foam we saw in the other case. However, the bottom is a solid harder foam that's actually pre-cut to hold a wider range of slabs and other items as well. And although this is a much smaller case than the past time marketplace case, you can actually fit between 120 and 160 graded cards in here, which is over double what the other one can carry. Another thing that I like is the additional space, which allows you to store other items in case of the off chance that you need to do that. At first glance, I actually thought there would be some issue with all of the loose space inside of the case. Personally, I would have liked to see some kind of filler insert. However, it is not necessary for this case in specific. This this case will run you about 130 US dollars, which is $40 cheaper than the Pastime Marketplace case and holds double the cards. I do actually have the Zion case backpack, which I can review in another video, which houses the Zion case and overall has become my everyday backpack. So far, this is a well worth investment in my opinion. Lastly is that super everyday standard hard case that you can find anywhere on the internet and make into housing whatever you want. A hard exterior, very similar of course to the other two, and most of the same features. I decided to go with a smaller case with a tearaway foam inside, making it the most customizable of the three. I pre-tore mine into five slots able to hold five slabs or 25 slabs in total. This one in particular is much smaller than the other two, however they do offer these, all three of these, in a million different sizes so make sure you put that into account when picking your own this one was about $40 and holds 25 slabs if you have a smaller collection or plan on carrying a smaller amount of your collection this one might be perfect one of the downsides you can see is the foam is a lot less sturdy and I can see this really wearing over time 
Well, there you go, guys. I hope this video was somewhat useful in helping you decide on which case might be the most useful for you and your collection. Personal opinion, I think the Pastime Marketplace one is just too dang big for me. However, if you are someone with an extremely high value of slabs or you're looking to buy, sell, and trade for more high value slabs, this one might be perfect. They also have smaller cases available. Instead of having to carry 60, if you want to carry 10 or 20, those are options as well. The Zion case, in my opinion, looks the absolute best. I'm carrying around high value collections collectible cards. I'm not carrying around like a World War 3 nuke button or anything like that. You know, it doesn't have to look like a crazy war crate. You know what I mean? You can fit so many in there. That goes for their smaller cases too. And their backpack is my favorite backpack right now. If you're on a budget and you want the most personalizing capabilities, the generic cases are definitely for you, man. To be honest, it's really going to come down to what you like. For me personally, it just depends on what cards I'm going to bring to what event or what house or where I'm taking each card. If I'm going to a convention or a friend's house, I'm probably just going to bring the smaller case if I've only got like 10 or 12 cards to bring. One of my collectible lines is all 102 cards of base set in PSA 8. I actually just store that in this Zion case. I think that is the most perfect one for storage. And if I ever have to bring that collection anywhere, I'm just going to grab that Zion case because it just houses so many cards and it houses them very well. And if I was somebody walking around with millions of dollars worth of cards, you bet I'm going to go with a pastime marketplace. I'm going to have a fat lock on there and I'm going to have air tags in there as well. It all comes down to personal preference, personal each one of these is made to keep collectibles safe and they all do a really dang good job at that if you're on a budget man this is the one this is the absolute one you can find these literally anywhere go on the internet type in cargo crate with the pull away foam grab yourself one of these make sure it's tall enough though and that is literally that you guys it all comes down to your personal preference and which one you decide is the best for you with the way collectibles are going these are going to become so much more important so much more of our daily collectible lives so i would definitely invest in one of these check it out do some trial trial and error, but not too much trial and error because they are expensive, but figure out which one is best for you. I suggest definitely getting one of these instead of carrying your slabs loose in a backpack, in your pocket, whatever. This is definitely the way to transport high value collectible slabs or collectible cards. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you did like this video, please drop a like, maybe even a subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. I truly appreciate you. And if you leave a comment telling me you wanted me to look into something else, I'd absolutely love to. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.